It's now time for us to do mission. Mission is supported by Star Ghana with funding from Danida, UK Aid and the European Union. Let's start off from the Upper West region. And they attend school every day, hoping for a conducive environment for studies. Now, children of Kulpom Primary School in the Upper West region, however, do not have this. They rather uncomfortably sit, lie or squat on the floor for hours listening to their teachers. It is another day, and the children expect to be taught new things. School is exciting, and so many are happy. come from far and near. Some commute over one hour to school. And yet, the joy of coming brings them here every day. The school feeding program is an attraction. Many come clutching what to them is life. But uncomfortably, they have to endure what even adults will shudder at being made to go through. The children have to endure long hours of pain and agony. Teachers teach, but are uncomfortable themselves. Put up in 2011, the Kurupong Primary School was not lucky. The contractor did not provide furniture, leaving teachers with no option than to start school with kids sitting on the floor. This is certainly not an ideal situation. About 70 of them cramped in this classroom here. Now, this is the formative stage, and this is where these kids are learning to write the alphabet. They need to perfect it in their build-up to primary two, primary three, and beyond. But here, you can see them. They are compelled to lie, sometimes flat on their belly to write. A difficult situation education authorities are grappling with to fix the problem of furniture in basic schools in the district. For six years, school officials have begged for furniture. From kindergarten one to two and on, every pupil is inconvenienced. At the PTA level, efforts have been made to secure furniture. We send it to the district assembly and they said they will come and look at it. Then when they did this in the DC came there and see the situation we have here, but they say they are still on it. School teachers have also used social media to help secure furniture, but all to no avail. upper primary level is not spared. Furniture is few here. It is first come, first served. Coming to school early is therefore the only way to secure a seat for the day. Even the few here are under pressure. Our first effort is at the school level because at all our PTA and SMP meetings we always ask them to look at the situation. They will come in, we'll take them through the classes for them to look at the situation of the people while they are sitting on the floor. And first effort is for, from them, some of them started constructing furniture for themselves. Like if you look at the classroom, you see some of the furniture they have constructed. That's the first effort we have put in through, through the parents. We've written a number of letters to the uh, GS office 
There was a request for, for us to give the, uh, the office the situation of our schools. The education directorate is simply begging for a savior to provide furniture for these kids. At the BEC level, we were bottom, second from the bottom in the National League table. And 2015, we went to 74th position. And the enrollment too has improved. Teacher situation has also improved a little. And they were, so there is a tremendous uh, improvement in the education regard to academic work, staffing situation, and uh, even community com commitment towards supporting education in the district. And UNICEF is doing very well in this regard and then plan Ghana. At the assembly level, motions have been moved to push for provision of furniture, but funding is a challenge. I realize that we still need more infrastructure uh, for some communities. Uh, uh, if we also go to the area of accommodation, we realize that most of the schools that we have in Wai East District uh, don't have teachers accommodation. Teachers in such communities uh, actually do suffer because those that are even closer to Wai will have to live in Wai and commit to the schools every day. So that actually sometimes can cut away uh, some working hours. The district education directorate says records indicate education is improving but agrees that a lot more is needed by way of infrastructure, teachers and teaching and learning materials to see a complete transformation. Right Nanafo, TV3. Well, now to the Eastern region, but still on education and lack of adequate infrastructure and teaching aids at um, Nyame Betre in the Sawam Adua Dream Municipality is affecting delivery of quality education. Now, four classes are held in one class. Nyami Betre, a typical farming settlement in the Nsuomadwe Dri municipality of the eastern region, is less densely populated, but residents contribute their quota to the country's food security. Nyami Betre, like other adjoining communities, is underdeveloped because they have been neglected by successive governments. Children in this part of the Nsuoma Dwejri municipality did not go to school because they could not trek the four miles to access nearby schools. Children in this community often fall sick after trekking long distance to school in adjoining communities. We need an alternative. This was until the residents took the initiative to establish this school and now the children can receive formal education, but this comes with a challenge. Those who are in class uh, two and those who are in nurseries up to KG1, they are combined in one classroom. So early in the morning, you see the children, that is where they start learning. So in the beginning, they start reciting their poems so whilst the basic two move out of the class to stay under a tree. The school has only two sheds with limited teaching staff. One semi makeshift structure accommodates four classes while the other serves two classes. Concentration in each class is difficult, especially when all classes under the shed are in session. It's not easy because whilst they are reading, they'll be distracting those who are in the basic school classroom. So it's not easy. Sometimes you need to talk on top of your voices so that they can hear what you are saying. Some nursery pupils come to school with little or no feeding fee at all, a situation subjecting some of them to hunger, thereby making it difficult for them to concentrate in class. Pupils in this school, after graduating from class 3, will stop because there are no additional classrooms to accommodate them. Peoples go in search of stones to support the construction of additional structure. Yeah. 
Head of the school, David Brown, says he is forced to transport teachers and people to and from school daily with his motorcycle. Poor education is not the only problem facing Nami Betre. Parents say the absence of social amenities, including a health facility and electricity in Yamibetre and adjoining communities, compound their plight. For a long time, the MP said that he was coming to help the community. But almost five months, they have already dig the, put in the pool. But till now, there is no wire, but the wire other place. There is no clinic in this community. The distance we cover to assess health care is worrying. Provision of a chips compound will help us. They want their challenges addressed. Well, that's all for Mission tonight. Mission is supported by Star Ghana with funding from UK Aid, Danida and the European Union. Over to you, Isa. Right, so listen. Uh, you were saying the story... Reminds you of something, a story that you did Oh, I just ago. wanted to say a good evening to the MCE of the Ghana South Municipality, Joseph <laughs> Stephen Nyani. Good evening. All right. I'm sure he's heard you. Now,